you're you the leader of a sovereign state and you are welcoming people from another country to somebody else's country or somebody else's state or somebody else's sovereign state because if you're saying I'm giving you a warm welcome to my house but you will go on the next door you go <laughs> you can't make this up you can't make this up and they say I mean out of sense people them say I mean out of sense but we just sit down and I laugh about it and I say watch ya Time will tell, and the higher the monkey climb, the more it's behind exposed. You see, so keep climbing. Me, I invite somebody. I'm giving you a warm welcome to the man next door house, or to the woman next door house, or to what? So what I get from this is. Chief Curry Goat thought he was going to get on the itinerary by doing this, by tagging, by at, by, by him doing it at the royal family. Because he tagged them, you know, at, at the royal family. So the only way for you to tag or at the royal family is if you really believe that this warm welcome that you are extending these people were going to put you on the itinerary and they were going to come up to where, you know, you're inviting them, which is because you couldn't be inviting them to Jamaica because you're, you're not, you're sovereign. And if you're sovereign, you can't be Jamaica. You see? You know, the military up there, you have on your constitution, you see? You have people with different positions. Chief of staff, I, I think is on there. I'm not sure. But you have... You have a lot of different... Um, position on the, on, the, on the Constitution. Where those positions that you have on the Constitution... You would have to have a, some form of military or some form of court system or some form of some form of justice system yeah you know if you have a chief of staff and them thing there or if you have any form of people who are dealing with justice you have to have a, you have to have a system it's like you have you have, a, you, have a, you have some tire but they don't have a car you see so we have to put them you see so what happened Boom, put out the statement reminding the, the, the British Crown how you worked for them to, 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 to round up Africans that ran away and took them back to the plantation by calling a treaty that was used to oppress black people. What you did was you posted this prior to the royal family visit for them to give you some form of attention or for them to add you to the itinerary. Right? So what you did? You reminded them of what you, your, your quote-unquote ancestors, which for me is the sellout Africans. You reminded them what the sellout Africans did for them to still own us as a people and for them to still own the land here. Is that you do, you know? But you see, a lot of the... A lot of the followers them, let, let me not disrespect anybody. A lot of the followers them, because they don't like what I call them sheep. A lot of the followers them, they don't really get it and they don't really understand what you are basically doing. You know? You're saying, yo, remember, see how we make you still own the crown land, you know. Remember, see how we make you, you know, continued slavery. You know, so this sacred treaty that we came together, excuse me, you know, you know, you know, as one, and exchange vows, and signatures are blood or whatever. Remind, remember. So we are welcoming you to the island. And we are adding you. See? And hashtag maroon. Hashtag crown. Hashtag Hana. Listen to that. Now you can go look at it yourself. Because it's still up on Captain Corey. If you will see this when you look. 
You see? You see the two sellout, the image of the two sellout Africans? You know, with the, with the, with the duck gun? And who you see there? Massa. Who is supposed to be on the plantation at all times, based on the, the treaty. That is, what, that is what this represents, you know. That is what Captain Curry Goat posted. Or, Kojo, or what name? Chief Curry Goat posted, you know. A picture with a royal, or a British man, or a royal member, or whatever you want to call him. You see? This is what the man posted prior to the visit of the royal family. This is what the man posted, you know. Prior to the visit of the royal family, reminding them that, remember, say, you know, we did help enough to keep them in a slavery, you know. Remember, say, we make us still have what we have in Jamaica, you know. But, that, but it gets more interesting. It gets more interesting. See? So, of course, you know, say, me burn my fire and I talk, me talk, and anybody way. Me call out on it. If them want still not them feelings, me don't talk about it already, and me stand by what I say. But let us move on. <laughs> let us move on. Let us move on. So the, the day or the night before the arrival of the royal family, a constitution was drafted or voted on. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't the timing a little bit strange? That the night before the royal family touched down, we see this news flash and this post of a constitution. Now, if you have a constitution, yeah, as a sovereign state, because only a sovereign state can have a constitution. But what is a constitution? And what is the purpose of a constitution? The purpose of a constitution is to rule over a corporation. I wonder if you understand what's going on here. The purpose of a constitution is to rule over a corporation. And if a sovereign state is drafting or, 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 or forming a constitution or whatever, putting forward a constitution or people voting on a constitution and implementing it into the society. It simply means that there is two constitutions now in Jamaica. So there is a different set of rules for the people them up at Okompong and a different set of rules for, for us who call ourselves Jamaicans. Because now it's two separate constitutions we have. But the problem with the Okompong constitution is where is the corporation? Remember, we are part of a corporation, you know. If that is the reason why I give you a, a rundown in a, in a the intro, in a the out, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a the opening argument. You see? Him? So, so walk with me, you know. Walk with me. Without we get angry at each other. We could learn. We could learn from each other. If I'm wrong, correct me. You see? If I'm wrong, say me wrong. You see? Because we're not going to fight over this. The reason why there's a constitution in Jamaica from the British state is to what? Is to control or to run or to man this corporation. And the corporation, we, with a birth paper, with a number upon it, and when you're dead, you get a number to say you're no longer a part of the corporation. You're no longer an asset or an asset. You're no longer, you know, you know, a product. That, that is the reason why you have a number, you know. We, all of us, we have a number. So you can't bury your loved one when your loved one, when your loved ones die. You can't go bury them without you get a death certificate, you know. Your body still down and you sitting there, you know, once them find the body. And if they don't find the body, them, them have the number and them say missing. So you're missing. But your number is still there. Nobody can't take your number. You get that? Wish me that somebody log in for, for help me control some of them 
Fari na Na wuli pa demi no Yeah Well, I'm going to make them still Yeah Alright So, the point of the argument is Curry Mountain ran under the constitution and had the people them vote on a, constitu a constitution and implemented it, basically implemented it into the society. Now, the, the people in Maroon Town are people in a, a compound must ask themselves, which is not my business because me and good talk for my ancestors, they may not, may not have as, as a horse in the race. But, in my opinion, the people in a compound, you must ask the question, or you should ask the question, where is the corporation? What corporation is this constitution going to govern? Are the people going to be the corporation? So that means if the people are going to be the corporation, then Captain Corrigoat is going to be their governor. He's going to be the man who rule over them. He's going to be what the British state is to us. Is that an understanding? And that is what is happening here, you know. Yeah? <laughs> so, the purpose of the Constitution at this, you know, moment, when the royal family is here, what is the purpose of the Constitution? So, if, let's say, the royal family give, give him audience, or the royal family decide to meet with him, what is going to happen? Okay, we have a Constitution in another side of Jamaica. So that means, remember, there are no restrictions for me to go up a maroon town and become a maroon. So it simply means, say, yo, I can't go up a maroon town and the constitution is basically what? I govern me because I cannot be governed by, governed by two constitutions in a one country. Unless it's two separate countries. So that is conflict of, of, of interest on my behalf if I should get in problem and go into the court. I can say, no. I'm following the constitution of Akompong because there's no borders or barriers or DNA to stop anyone from telling me that I am a maroon just like Captain Corrigoat. Because there's no DNA test where Captain Corrigoat took to prove that he is a maroon. There's no, there's no, you know what I'm saying? There's no way to test your blood or test any form of DNA to say you are or you are not. Just like you can't test if you are Jews. You can't test if you are Benjamites. You can't check if you are, check if you are sons of Abraham. You can't check that. There is no DNA can prove that for black people. Me don't know about no other nations. See? But for black people, there is no blood you can do, no DNA to tell us me different from you. See? Based on some form of ideology. Anyway. So the Constitution, let's say the Constitution, um, is agreed on by the British state because remember who's gonna agree on this constitution for it to have some form of significance around the world you see who's gonna agree on that all right so it moves from Captain Curry Goat giving a warm welcome to the royal family to what to putting out a statement last night and hear the statement from last night this is a 360, you know. This is a 360 when Captain Corrigoat realized that the British state is, no, is not going to meet with him. The British um, royal family, excuse me, is not going to meet with him. Because, of course, he have no military up there to protect them from harm. You see? And he can't use the, the Queen's militia to protect them. So he have to have money and a government and a security force if him want them come come up a, a compound. Is you see him when I go say all oh, the taxpayer money I use for pay you know pay for security for them go up there. You never problem with that because of course the whole I wanna are most I wanna in our in our you know ego or no hype or no just I look something for follow. But on the question why them come here upon the budget. But on the question why the security force guy our security force where we pay the taxes, we don't know, ask the question, or them gone to another sovereign state, go and protect the royal family. If they were to go there, you wouldn't ask that. We are asking about, are talking about that we paying for them trip here. 
But imagine we are paying for the royal family to visit America. We, taxpayers, paying for the royal family to visit Cayman Island. Well, that is exactly what it would be. You see? <laughs> so, Captain Curry go change him, like him change him, him tone now. And listen, to, this, is the new, this is the new tone. Listen this now. In the name of God. Communication is to diplomacy. Bam! In the name of God. God is a German word. So from the start out him wrong as a quote-unquote African or a quote-unquote um, 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 indigenous person, there is no in the name of God nothing. But of course, you know, the world are we are Christian, so we can, we can get away with that. But come on, if you're indigenous to a land, or if you're talking about your ancestors and your, yes, you say, in the name of God? No, that's English, bro, or that's German. Because the word God comes from, is a Germanic word. You see? So just even you're starting, you know, it would be better if you, if you say the name of something where your ancestors they used to subscribe to. But I don't know if now African did come across the Atlantic or come in a slavery or was here before the, 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 the enslavers them who talk about in the name of God. So this is a Christian man. He's not a Maroonist. He's a Christian man. He's a Protestant. A Protestant in the way you want to pronounce it. So in the name of God, but of course, when you want to, um, yeah, leave it alone. Communication so hold on, the start again. The human body. Oh my God, we just like it. <laughs> in the name of God, communication is to diplomacy as blood is to the human body. Whenever communication ceases, the body of international, of international politics, the process of diplomacy is dead. And the result is violent conflict and atrophy. I take this opportunity to do something that many Maroon chiefs should have... I want you to listen to that again. And ask yourself if this man, if this man is asking for Jamaicans to join him in some form of uprising. I want you to listen again, you know. I don't want to put words, I don't, I don't want to misquote or misunderstand what this man is trying to say. But, but listen carefully. I've been telling you something for, for months now. You see? But of course, me are the madman, I'm the idiot. You see? But listen again. Listen again. Listen, listen, listen. What, what is he implying? Brown chief should have done the proclamation of 19. In the name of God, communication is to diplomacy as blood is to the human body. Whenever communication ceases, the body of international, of international politics, the process of diplomacy is dead. And the result is violent conflict and atrophy. That means I try to get your attention on the 1st of March so I can get some form of dialect with you. Right? Our discourse with you. And you ignored me. So what is the next step? If diplomacy is dead. You see? But who is he asking or saying this to? You see? Because remember... You not talk to me. You owe me. Me work for you. Me capture runaway slaves and make your plantation flourish. And you not talk to me. So if diplomacy is dead, what happened? Why you listen again? You see? <laughs> listen again. Because remember, say, we have said this before, robot man, you know. But we still give props to robot man for call it out. You see? So, <laughs> so, yeah, and over here saw the vulture there. The vulture there, excuse me. <laughs> but listen again. And atrophy. What, what, what is it in the name of God again? One more time. In the name of God. Communication is to diplomacy as blood is to the human body. Whenever communication ceases, the body of international, of international politics, the process of diplomacy is dead. And the result is 
violent conflict and atrophy. I take this opportunity to do something that many Maroon chiefs should have done during the proclamation of 1962 Jamaica Order in Council, which created an independent, responsible parliament to operate in trade and commerce within Queen Elizabeth's Commonwealth. I take this opportunity to object to all agreements, known and unknown, that relate to the sovereign land claims by an inferior parliamentary body on the granted constitutional document issued via an order in council. Exactly one month before the granting of the Jamaican order in council, a member of parliament declared in the House of Commons that the Maroon chief would be leading a delegation of Maroons to see Sir Alexander Bustamante regarding Maroon rights under the Jamaican constitution. The member of parliament, Mr. Dryberg, stated that if our treaty rights were abridged, that the that if our treaty rights were abridged, that the Maroons would appeal to the All right. So, according to according to Captain um, to Chief Corrigoat, a man in, in the House of Commons said that the Maroons were you know, what's the man they were supposed to I guess include the Maroons in a whatever based on the Jamaica Constitution or but if if if, if Bustamante was supposed to um issue some form of rights to the Maroons them under the Jamaican Constitution wouldn't it be written in the Constitution because we can pull up the job the Constitution now so if a man in a house a come and I say it and it's not in the Constitution. It means that it is null and void. It means that the argument is just an hypothetical argument. It's not just an argument. See? It don't mean nothing. Because we can pull up the Jamaica Constitution. And that is not in the Jamaica Constitution. You see? So, but me, me, me wrong still, so. Communication is to diplomacy as blood is to the human body. Whenever communication ceases, the body of international, of international politics, the process of diplomacy is dead. And the result is violent conflict and atrophy. I take this opportunity to do something that many Maroon chiefs should have done during the proclamation of 1962 Jamaica Order in Council, which created an independent, responsible parliament to operate in trade and commerce within Queen Elizabeth's Commonwealth. I take this opportunity to object to all agreements, known and unknown, that relate to the sovereign land claims by an inferior parliamentary body on the granted constitutional document issued via an order in council. Exactly one month before the granting of the Jamaican order in council, a member of parliament declared in the House of Commons that the Maroon chief would be leading a delegation of Maroons to see Sir Alexander Bustamante regarding Maroon rights under the Jamaican constitution. The member of parliament, Mr. Dryberg, stated that if our treaty rights were abridged, that the Maroons would appeal to the crown for protection, which would create a clash, though at that time would have been modest. Tomorrow, I take up the opportune moment to once again lead a Maroon delegation to Jamaica House and King's House to make our statement heard around the world that we, the Maroons, unequivocally object to Maroon Treaty being violated under a Republic Jamaica. We will join our brothers and sisters in their cry for apology for slavery, and we, the Maroons, will seek an apology for the outstanding debt that is still unresolved with the Crown since 1962. Boom! We, the Maroons, will join our fellow brothers and sisters in asking for an apology for slavery. Is this the same person that was talking about giving a warm welcome to the royal family on the 1st of March? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. This is important. This is very important. Is this the same person that was honoring 
the treaty as sacred and paying homage to the treaty on the 1st of March and to the last night, yesterday, not even a month after, the same person is ready now to join us, together with us, out of the British Council, to, to, to go out there, go demonstrate, to go now, go, 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 go find the prince and him woman, and lead a delegation, and follow a delegation, go out there, to ask for an apology for slavery. This is the same person that was glassing over the, 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 the coming of, 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 of God, of the saviors, of the people that were still own with, and still own the land. So now we want, now we want an apology for slavery from them, for we, and for outstanding debt. Debt for what? What's the number? How much them owe them? What them owe them for? Me know them never get. They were not fully compensated for returning runaway slaves. That's the reason why the Sam Sharp Rebellion was successful. Because they were protesting for, 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 for um, wages. And it spilled over. The protests, where them are protesting wages, gave an opening to the, 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 the rebellious people them. And the Sam Sharp Rebellion swelled. So, now, Captain Curry Goat is gonna, was planning today, yeah, <laughs> he was planning today to meet up with Jamaicans to ask for an apology for slavery. And, listen to this, and is key. He want to ask for slavery for us, and he want to ask for reparation for himself. So in other words, they even go again, it's him and us. All of you sell out Negroes, where love run, go by and peace, go bow. Yes, me chief. Yes, me king. Yes, me this. Yes, me that. Yes, me re, re. Good luck to you all. Yeah? You want to have it. You want to burn with it. You want to burn with the sell out DNA. You see? It's us again and them. We are... We are joining our brothers to get an apology for them for slavery and for the Maroons, the debt that was owed to the Maroons. I saw so you hear it. Because I know I make no mistake again, you know. I saw you hear it. But what is funny about this now? The Maroons have never apologized to us, the descendants of the people that were on the plantation. They find it hard to look at us, their brothers, and say, you know what? We did have some sellout Africans that worked with the British them. And we may be descendants of them. And you know what? It was wrong. But we are still one blood. And the argument done. Them can't find it in themselves. They can't lead nobody. We call themselves Maroons to say it was wrong. We shouldn't have worked with the, the, the British state because working with the British state is the reason why them, the Maroons, them have to still come now and talk about them, owe them, when we could have been the first set of bad people to own the land. We could have been the first set of bad because we had the, the mountains. The, the, the Europe, the, 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 the English, them, the British, them, could not fight us in the mountains. But what? They were the lions in the mountains that we could not go against. You see? The British them never know nothing about the Tyrian. But they were the ones who were equipped, who were given guns and sword and uniforms to return people like Three Finger Jack, kill Taki them, so forth and so on. Because, it, come on, you know this 90, 90 degrees weather, how, how much fighting the British them could have do against so many Africans? You see? So there's no apology. You see? 
No apology. Ever. From the Maroons and for...